Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have taken the world by storm, along with their adorable daughter, Stormy. But where are the couple at now? Are they still together? Is there another baby on the way? Keep watching to find out. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott's relationship kicked off in April 2017 at Coachella, the celeb-studded annual music festival held in Indio, California. Kylie just passed her breakup with rapper Tyga, and some speculated that her pursuit of Travis, early on at least, was to provoke her former flame. A source told People, When she and Tyga are having drama, she tries to make him jealous by hanging out with other guys. Fortunately, Travis ended up being so much more than a decoy. Amusingly enough, in their later joint interview with GQ, they both admitted that they couldn't recall their precise meeting place at the festival. In a very romantic gesture, Kylie simply ran off with Travis. She told GQ, Coachella was one of the stops on his tour. So he said, I'm going back on tour. What do we want to do about this? Because we obviously liked each other. And I was like, I guess I'm going with you. Kylie honestly meant it. She explained, I really jumped on the bus, and then we rode off into the sunset. I did the whole tour with him. Kylie said that this uprooting led to the success of their relationship. Had they been in their hometowns, there might have been more pressure. But wandering all over the country allowed them to get to know each other in a fresh way. She said, We would go on walks, and no one would bother us. In May 2017, Travis Scott released his song, Butterfly Effect, a reference to the belief that small changes can have large consequences. The philosophy could apply nicely to a relationship, and by all accounts, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott certainly seem to use butterflies as a symbol in their budding romance. Case in point, in June 2017, Kylie and Travis got matching butterfly tattoos on their ankles. The couple showed off the fresh ink on Snapchat. Right around this time, they were seen joining sister Khloe Kardashian for her birthday party in Los Angeles. A source told People, they were super affectionate, and Travis was constantly kissing her on the cheek and whispering in her ear. Their relationship seems to be getting stronger, and they're closer than ever. Butterflies have been an ongoing theme for the couple. Many listeners speculated that Travis's song was made for Kylie. Added to that, the name choice for their daughter Stormy might also have something to do with the butterfly effect. Fans were all about this theory on Twitter, with one person saying, You know the saying that sometimes a butterfly's wings fluttering can cause a hurricane halfway around the world? Well, hurricanes are stormy, so that explains all the butterfly tattoos. Honestly, it could be. Speaking of Stormy, one of the major milestones for Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott was their pregnancy. As fans will remember, Kylie didn't break the news of her pregnancy, but in September 2017, sources like People confirmed that she was pregnant. An insider explained, They started telling friends a few weeks ago. The family has known for quite some time. She is really excited. And so is Travis. The Daily Mail did the math and figured out, based on when Stormy was born, that Kylie and Travis conceived their daughter one week after they first hung out at Coachella. But since paparazzi and media are aggressive, even during slow times, Kylie wisely made the decision to keep her pregnancy a secret and to hide out at home during the later months. Your pregnancy has been the best kept secret of our generation. After Stormy was born, Kylie explained her decision on Instagram. I understand you're used to me bringing you along on my journeys. My pregnancy was one I chose not to do in front of the world. I knew for myself I needed to prepare for this role of a lifetime in the most positive, stress-free, and healthy way I knew how. While Kylie spoke about the importance of her decision, she also shared about her experience being pregnant. She said, It's been the most beautiful, empowering, and life-changing experience I've had in my entire life, and I'm actually going to miss it. I've never felt love and happiness like this. I could burst. So it sounds like Kylie certainly made the right decision for herself. Stormy Webster came into the world on February 1st, 2018, and held the Instagram record for a time for the most likes received by a single post at 18 million. Kylie shared a touching photo of her daughter holding her finger. While she was silent during her pregnancy, Kylie made up for lost time and shared a touching tribute on YouTube called To Our Daughter. The video recounts for Stormy all the events leading up to her birth. And in it, one-time friend Jordan Wood speaks to Stormy, saying, Your mother and I were living our lives, having fun, when she met your father, and they just hit it off. Chemistry. 
The video shows Travis Scott sharing pictures of the ultrasound with his friends, and later, Travis in the room with Kylie while she gets the ultrasound. There was one thing that your mom knew for sure, and that was you. The camera also caught snippets of the delivery, including a very anxious-looking Travis next to Kylie. The rapper spoke about the experience in their joint interview with GQ. When asked when he last cried, Travis said, when my daughter was born, as soon as I heard her crying. And when Travis was asked if he was in the room, the journalist reported that he snapped at the question, shouting, hell yeah, it was crazy. I was there through the hell, the epidural and <laughs> crazy. After the birth of Stormy Webster, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott continued much of their usual dating routine. They attended Coachella again in April 2018, rounding out a very eventful year for the couple. Also in April, they jetted down to Houston, Texas to introduce Stormy to Travis's family. On top of a family trip to Texas, Kylie and Travis attended the 2018 Met Gala in New York City, opting for matching all-black ensembles despite the theme being heavenly bodies, fashion, and the Catholic imagination. Travis and Kylie were very connected on the red carpet and extremely physically affectionate. The duo, with their daughter in tow, also took a trip to Turks and Caicos, sharing a beautiful photo to Instagram where they are hugging on the beach. By all accounts, the relationship was smooth sailing for the happy parents. However, Travis kept his own home. An insider told People, Despite being new parents, Kylie and Travis are still in a new relationship too. Kylie is happy with their living situation. Travis is a great dad. When he wants to work, Kylie is supportive. She has everything she needs right now and seems very happy. Sounds like a happy situation for everyone. In a groundbreaking moment, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott had their first interview and photo shoot together with GQ, published in July 2018. The article went for heavy-hitting questions and asked the couple about the infamous Kardashian curse. This is, of course, referring to the unsuccessful relationships of Kylie's older sisters. While it's a tough question, the interviewer clarified that it has nothing to do with the women themselves, but rather their intense level of fame and the subsequent scrutiny each relationship receives. Travis answered first, stressing that he's unfazed about what other people say, and that he doesn't think about the opinions of others. He emphasized Kylie's role in his sense of well-being, saying, "'Kylie actually likes me for me.'" Travis added that his removal from the world is an asset when it comes to his relationship. He explained, I'm on my own island. So hey, come over there to Astroworld. I'm not into all that other I don't get involved. I'm over here. Kylie is different. Kylie said it's easier for her to let go of all the media noise than it is for Travis. Well, for all the news stories, it's how I get over them so fast. Trav, for example, he's like, wait, but how do you just get over this? He gets more angry about things. I don't think he's really cool with it but he deals with it because we love each other and we have a family. And their daughter has remained a priority, with Travis Scott writing on Instagram in August 2018, Big mood, teach my stormy to love. I'll forever protect that smile. Unfortunately, rumors of alleged cheating scandals hit the couple in December 2018. It stemmed from a prank made by YouTuber Christian Adam G, who dressed up like Travis and kissed a woman to stage a shot of infidelity. Travis jumped on Instagram to address the prank, saying, "'Trolls working hard today. Try again, you trolls. Me and my wifey sturdy. Back to celebrating.'" For Kylie, the situation demanded a more serious response. On her Instagram stories, she shared a screenshot of the prank and wrote, "'I don't know if this is really a social experiment to some people, but you're messing with real people, real relationships, real family. I'm happy my relationship is strong because this is getting out of hand. The internet scares me sometimes for real. You cannot win with the internet. There's no winning. It's just unnecessary negativity. In February 2019, rumors broke again about a cheating scandal, and these came hard on the heels of the triangle involving Kylie's best friend, Jordan Woods, and Tristan Thompson, who was dating Khloe Kardashian. Allegedly, Kylie saw something on Travis's phone that prompted a fight. An insider told People, Kylie had a rough week. She is still devastated about Jordan and had an argument with Travis after she checked his phone and saw something that she didn't like. Whether there was any substance to this second rumor or not, the couple moved on and were stronger than ever.
Cheating rumors did nothing to slow down Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. In spring 2019, they were spotted all over the place, looking like nothing more than a loving, connected family. In April, for Travis's birthday, Kylie posted a touching tribute to him. She wrote, Watching you evolve into the partner, friend, son, and father you are today has been so fulfilling. My real-life bestie and hubby all wrapped into one. I love you and I'm so, so proud of you. Happy, happy birthday. Let's f around and have another baby. Just like cheating rumors seem to inevitably circulate, so did engagement rumors for the couple. However, Kylie's interview with Paper Magazine that year put marriage talk to bed, at least for the moment. Unlike her pregnancy with Stormy, she wouldn't keep it a secret. She said, I'll let everybody know. While an engagement ring might not be in their immediate future, Kylie praised Travis as a dad during the interview. She called him a quote, big kid. She also said that Stormy took her first steps two days before her conversation with Paper, and Travis was there for the big event. They kicked off the spring with another Met Gala appearance together in May 2019, where Kylie wore her iconic lavender Versace dress, a look that embodied, quote, excess and extravagance, according to designer Edward Cromack in a conversation with Vogue. Travis was at her side, sporting his signature military look, and the two looked like a dream couple. In the late summer and early fall of 2019, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott got even closer. The family attended the premiere of Travis's Netflix documentary, Look Mom, I Can Fly, in Santa Monica. The event got lots of play, largely for the novelty of Stormy being on the red carpet. That September, Kylie and Travis had a joint interview for Playboy. The conversation was directed by Travis as a way for the world to get to know a more intimate version of Kylie. Travis asked her questions, and the back and forth offered a charming look at them as a couple. He said, When I need to bounce new ideas off of someone, I always know I can go to you. Do you feel the same about me? Kylie responded, I definitely come to you. You have such a creative, out-of-the-box mind, so I love to come to you to get some advice on how to promote things, because you always have the craziest, coolest ideas. When Travis asked Kylie why their relationship worked, she shared that they were like-minded in their goals and passions. The model continued, Besides the fact that we have good chemistry, we have a lot of fun together. You're my best friend. Sex was also on the table. Travis said, A lot of people claim that having a baby can hurt your sex life, but I feel like that's the opposite of our experience. Kylie added, laughing, Yeah, I feel like we've definitely proven that rumor to be wrong. Despite the incredible chemistry that Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott had been serving since they got together, the pair shocked everyone when news broke on October 1, 2019 that they were, quote, taking a break. The operative word here is break, rather than break up. As a source explained to Us Weekly, Kylie still loves Travis, and this isn't considered a full breakup to either of them. The break functioned more as a pause than a signifier of irreconcilable problems in their relationship. An insider told People, They are taking some time, but not done. They still have some trust issues, but their problems have stemmed more from the stress of their lifestyles. Naturally, rumors surrounded their break, particularly about Kylie. She was seen at a recording studio where her ex, Tyga, happened to also be hanging out. On October 3, 2019, Kylie tweeted, The internet makes everything 100 times more dramatic than what it really is. There was no 2 a.m. date with Tyga. You see me drop two of my friends off at a studio that he happened to be at. Kylie followed this up with a second tweet, Travis and I are on great terms and our main focus right now is Stormy. Our friendship and our daughter is priority. In November, Kylie was spotted with Drake, which also sent the internet into a frenzy, but the two seemed to just be friends. While still on a break, Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner gave interviews about parenting and kids. In December 2019, Travis spoke with XXL Magazine, and naturally, his family came up. He said, I've been spending time with my family and with my daughter Stormy. Being a dad is better than what I thought it would be. Stormy is one of the best human beings I know. She's like my best friend. She makes life a little bit easier. She just inspires me, and she surprises me every day with how she's thinking. It's so crazy." Travis continued, "...her mom and I came up with the name Stormy together. I love her mommy, and I always will. The hard part about relationships is just trying to be in one without a million outside voices interfering." For her part, Kylie began 2020 with talk of having more children. 
When answering fan questions on her YouTube channel with Kim Kardashian, she said, I see myself for sure having four kids. I just don't know when. I don't have a timeline to this, and I don't know if I'm going to have four kids tomorrow or if I'm going to have four kids in, like, seven years. She made a similar statement later in the year. On an Instagram Live with pal Anastasia, Stasi, Cara Nicolo, Kylie said, I want seven kids down the line. But not right now. Pregnancy is just not a joke. It's a serious thing, and it's hard. I'm not ready for that just yet. Makes sense. 2020 was a slow year for Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, as it was for many people. The couple seemed to lay low, and nothing definitive happened in their relationship. Just as there were rumors about cheating and new relationships, there were also rumors about Kylie and Travis getting back together. It might have just been wishful thinking on the part of fans. Since this was such a hot topic, an insider told Us Weekly, everyone around Kylie and Travis is rallying for these two. They are co-parenting and hanging out more and more, working on getting back together. Things seem to remain relatively the same by October 2020. The pair were focused on their daughter and taking things in stride. As another source told Us Weekly, Kylie and Travis are co-parenting amazingly right now and love spending time together with Stormy and making her happy. Travis is a hands-on, super engaged dad and always wants to make Stormy smile. She is such a happy child. So Stormy is certainly the glue to keep the two of them close. While 2020 wasn't rampant with news about Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, 2021 made up for lost time. The couple didn't explicitly state whether they were back together or not, but the pair went to Miami together to celebrate Travis's birthday. According to an interview with an insider at ET, Kylie and Travis are messing around and having fun together. They've always had a strong connection and chemistry, and they're exploring their relationship romantically again. In June 2021, the couple ventured to New York City for the Parsons benefit, where Travis was honored by the new school. His acceptance speech gave so much away. He gave Stormy a shout out and said, I love you, wifey. Nothing caps off a feverish pitch of reconciliation like a pregnancy announcement, and that's exactly what Travis and Kylie did. On September 7, 2021, Kylie shared a video on Instagram with her positive pregnancy test and, a moment later, footage of Travis hugging her belly. It's pretty much the cutest thing in the world. Stormy is very involved, joining Kylie at the ultrasound appointment and sharing the photos with Kris Jenner, who was totally surprised by the news. While it hasn't been the simplest love story ever, Kylie and Travis seem to have found something that stuck, a love and mutual support that centers around their growing family. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celeb couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.